as a governor of this county, we have listened uh, to the doctors very well, having given the strike notice nationally. For the last one month, the doctors have been on strike, and the issues which they are raising uh, range from uh, delayed posting of interns, failure to provide comprehensive medical cover. These are the national level. Uh, I'm also aware that the uh, clinicians and the statisticians, lab technicians have also uh, started their strike nationally. Uh, issues of promotions have been highlighted by the doctors as well as the clinicians and the lab technicians. Delayed salaries and remuneration the right to get uh, mortgages and car loans. Now the status in Kakamega, as at now, we have a few services which have been interrupted with because of the ongoing strike by the doctors. And one of the services has been the surgical services which have been interrupted with. We have the special clinics where services have been interrupted with because of the ongoing strike. We also have the theatre uh, services. Unfortunately, also in our dispensaries, because of the national uh, uh, strike, some of the patients are no longer even going uh, to our dispensaries, and yet we don't have doctors there. Our dispensaries are, la are run by our nurses, and I want to tell all the Kakamega people that our health centers and our dispensaries are working and they are not affected by the strike of the doctors. And this is my message uh, to the doctors who are on strike. Uh, first and foremost, the labor courts, uh, through Justice uh, Byram Ongaya, directed that the doctors must resume uh, their duties in the interest of the patients as we negotiate at national level uh, on the issues which they raised in their collective bargaining agreement. The position of Council of Governors is also the same, that doctors must put the lives of our patients first. They resume as we deal with their issues. Issues of delayed salary, some of them are already being addressed. They are no longer issues as, as at last month. And therefore, as the governor of this county, I want to ask all the, all the striking doctors that tomorrow by 8 a.m., I want all of you to resume your duties. And any doctor who will not be at their workstation by 8 a.m., we shall not have any excuse other than releasing them. We are ready to employ other doctors. So by tomorrow, 8 a.m., I want all the doctors to resume their workstations so that doctors who are not going to resume, the only solution that we have is to dismiss them. So this is my message that I want to convey to our doctors in Kakamega, that I now direct to resume your services tomorrow by 8 a.m. Failure to that, then you are going to institute disciplinary measures of dismissing all those doctors who have not taken up uh, that advice. That is my message which I wanted to commit and deliver uh, to our people. But for the patients who are having a minor illness, our dispensaries are still open, our nurses are there, we want to call upon the general public that if you have any medical services you want to seek in our dispensaries, those ones are opened. So sina mengi, yangu ni kuambia wale madaktari ambao wanashiriki mgomo ambao naendelea, ikifika kesho sambili ya asubui, na wambia wasipokuja kazini, aduna budi lazima tutawafuta kazi kwanzia kesho. Uwe ndo msumamu ambao tuko nao, Na lazima madaktari wetu pia watilie mkazo wa muzi ambao litolewa kotini. 
ya kuambia warudi kazini ili serikali ya county na serikali ya ya juu ya national government tukiangalia vile tutajadili maslahi yao lakini wagonjwa wetu wasiendelee kuumia kwa sababu ya mambo ya strike hiyo ndiyo ujumbe ambao naambia madaktari wetu na wale wagonjwa ambao wako, wako nyanjani mbalimbali mbali, bado tuko tayari tunatoa huduma zetu kwa zaanati zetu kule kwa wards kwa health centers zetu kwa sababu tuko na nurses ambao wako tayari akutibu wagonjwa wetu kwa hiyo machache huo ndio ujumbe wangu na maswali nimesema kama mko na maswali niko na waziri wa afya atajibu maswali yenu kikamilifu kule kwa hospitali asanteni